Okay, uh, the question was asked, uh, how do artists or other people, you know, doing digital work for, with a reference photo using a computer, how do they display that reference photo? Uh, well, they've got the program open that they're working in. And this is Photoshop Elements. Um, what I'm about to show you, uh, you can generally do in any photo editor. So uh, you don't have to have elements to do this. The first and easiest way to, dis to display a reference photo is just to open it and, and use a magnifying glass to change its size. So I am going to open a photo here I have. I like to use, for examples, of a duck. And it, here in Elements, it sticks in here. I'm just going to click and drag on its frame and drag it out. Okay. Now, if you put the cursor on an edge, you can see it turns into a double-sided arrow. But if you just move it down like this, it cuts off part of the picture. What you need to do is grab the uh, zoom tool, otherwise known as the magnifying glass. Hold down the Alt key if you have a Windows computer. It turns into the magnifying glass turns into minus sign instead of plus. And just click until your uh, photo is the size you want it to be, and then you can drag it around here. Uh, if you have newer versions of Elements and you get it close to the top, it wants to stick up there, but I just usually don't let it stick. And then you can do all your drawing and sketching, and whoops, that's stuck. And, uh, you know, have your reference photo right here. If you want to make it smaller or larger, you have to use the magnifying glass. Now, another way to display a reference photo that I like a little better, because you don't have to use a tool like a magnifying glass, is to use the QuickTime Picture Viewer. I did not download this, and I did some exploring in Google. And I found out that it comes with the QuickTime Video Viewer, the QuickTime Viewer. And I have to have QuickTime Viewer for a few programs. They do things with it. If you don't have QuickTime Viewer, I'll put a link to it. It's an Apple product, so it's a safe download for Windows. Made by the same people that make iTunes and iPhone and iPad and i everything else. Okay, now the second way you can display is with that Picture Viewer. So instead of using, instead of opening a file in Windows, we're just going to go to Pictures. I'm going to find my duck again, which isn't hard. How many ducks do you have? Right click on the duck. Scroll down and just hover the cursor. You don't have to click to, um, oh, excuse me, open with. And then go down the list until you find your picture viewer. Click on it once. And they want you to use it to open other things. Click no. Close this up, and there's your picture viewer. Oh, my, but look how big it is. Same thing. If you put the cursor on an edge, it turns into a double-sided arrow. And I like this one because you can just click and make it as small as you want without having to use the magnifying glass. And that's nice. And you, you know, Obviously, you can move it around if you want to. You can make it smaller. You can make it, whoops, wider. You don't want to do that. You can make it larger. And you can do it very, very easily. And that's using Picture Viewer. Now, for those of you who sketch from reference photos, there is what I call a cheat sketch you can make. And I've used it myself. Now, unfortunately, I don't have my Wacom tablet connected to this computer. But I'll show you how to do it. Let's close the duck up. We're going to open the duck again. Let's see, recently. Okay, there he is. Okay, I don't have to open him again. He sticks. I pull him out. I move my thing over there. Also, notice if you have these scroll bars. I don't like having scroll bars. Go to View, Fit on Screen. There you go. And you can see your whole canvas now. Now, if I use the Move tool. Oh, wait. I'm ahead of myself here. First, either depending upon what version of Elements you have, or even if you're not using Elements, you want to create a new transparent layer above, excuse me, above the bat white background layer to put the duck on. Okay? In Elements, you don't really have to do that because use the Move tool. When you, come on, duck. When you click and drag the duck over, it automatically comes out on its own layer. Okay, you'll also notice the duck is small. 
I can click and drag, I can scale the duck up. But when I do that, because of its resolution, it tends to get a little pixelated, especially if you're making it a lot bigger. Okay? You'll lose some of the detail and it just won't look as nice. One thing you can do, right click, delete this layer, click on the duck. One thing you can do is resize the duck and give it the same dimensions as the canvas you're going to be using. And how you do that is click on the duck, make sure the duck's showing in the layer panel. Come up to Image, Resize, Image Size, and don't do anything. Just let it set there. Back up in the main menu, click on Window, and you'll notice at the very bottom, the two files you have open in the workspace are listed. The untitled canvas that I'm going to sketch and paint on, and the duck picture. We want the duck to be the same size as the untitled. You will please click on the untitled canvas, and... The dimensions, everything will automatically change here. Click OK. The duck gets real big. You can go back to view, fit on screen. OK. Use the move tool. Move your duck onto the canvas now and look what happens. It fits. And it really doesn't get very pixelated or anything. It still looks pretty smooth. You can close your original duck. No, you don't want to save changes. Now what do you do? Back to the Layers panel. Top or bottom, or if you're not using Elements, wherever your icon is, create a new layer again above the duck. This is the layer you're going to draw on and make your sketches. Now, like I said, I don't have my Wacom tablet, so please excuse me. Click on the Brush tool. Click on the Brush Tip Selector. I have already have Best Pencil Brush Set. I have some pencil brushes here. I'm going to use kind of a large one. You can, uh, if you'd like, you can zoom in to do your sketching. And unfortunately, I'm using a trackball and I'm going to do this kind of fast. And you can just sketch around and make some of your lines. This is how you cheat. Okay. You can draw his nostril. You can draw the line around here. Of course, if I was doing this for reals, as my nephew used to say when he was a little boy, I would change up my pencil. I'm using the same width, the same weight of pencil to do this. Okay, go around his eye. You can even do your shading. You've got a little thing here, you've got a little thing here, whatever. Okay, you can go back to the magnifying glass. I want it to. Okay, you can move down, click on the brush tool, you can do one of his knobby legs, whatever, and like I said, I'm doing this really fast, so it's not exactly my best sketching work here. And, you know, in other words, you can sketch in the little quacker, his little tail out there. Here's part of his neck going up. And you can erase. You can do whatever you need to do here. Now, you finish your sketch. Let's put the view fit on screen. There we go. Then what you do is you click on the duck layer. Right click on the duck layer. Delete the duck layer. And only your sketch is left. And that's how you, that's how you cheat and make a sketch directly from the photo. And like I said, it doesn't have to be Photoshop Elements. Any uh, art or photo editing program that you do art on that supports layers, PaintShop Pro, Paint.net. I think Photoscape has layers. GIMP has layers. Anything that has layers, you can cheat. And uh, anyway, I hope this is helpful.